Why Luxury Fashion Should Ditch Leather Every year, thousands of animals get killed in the clothing industry, whether they come from Chinese wool farms, Indian slaughterhouses, or the Australian outback. The immeasurable suffering goes to all fur trim jackets, leather belts, and fur jerseys. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel, Lux Fluent. In today's video, we will be discussing why luxury fashion should ditch leather. Throughout Milan Fashion Week, Caring, the 13 billion euro sales luxurious group at the back of Gucci and Bottega Veneta, introduced that it had crossed completely fur unfastened by way of the give up of the next 12 months. Following comparable pledges made by Michael Kors, owner Capri Holdings, and Chanel in 2017 to 2018, the announcement was primarily symbolic. An easy victory for a company eager to woo young shoppers who say their buying decisions are increasingly being driven by environmental and ethical concerns, and one that has little to do with the bottom line will have an effect. Expensive fashion group Caring has promised to throw out fur across all its brands, as high-end labels are heavily monitored for animal welfare and environmental practices. By the end of 2022, none of Caring's brands, including Alexander McQueen, Gucci, and Vest St. Laurent, will use animal fur for making clothes. Amid the group's pressure to lead in sustainability, when Gucci announced it was giving up fur in 2017, its revenue fell by less than 0.2%. And of the group's six fashion and leather goods brands, only St. Laurent and Briani have yet to phase out the stuff. Caring's chief sustainability officer, Marie Claire DeVoe, framed the announcement as a commitment to ethical luxury, calling it another step in our commitment to animal welfare and our commitment to sustainability for Vogue business. Yet, the ban does not extend to precious skins such as crocodiles and pythons, nor to sheep's fur, shears, or perhaps most importantly, leather and the impact on the group's environmental benefit and harm statement will be negligible. Quitting fur is the right thing to do. Animals should not be kept in cages and slaughtered so that rich people can get new fur coats to be hung in their wardrobes. The same goes for reptiles like crocodiles and pythons that are cultivated or captured so that their skins are made into bags and belts. But where does this leave the skin? If caring really wants to reduce environmental impact, reducing this sector pillar can be a first step. According to the company's estimates, leather collects all of its resources far more than any other composite material. But it is also the most important driving force behind the company's revenue and profits, as well as the luxury goods industry as a whole. It is responsible for the sales section in brands like Caring, Herms, and Prada. Other bio-based methods are limited, and unlike precious leather and many types of fur, leather is generally regarded as a product of the meat and dairy industry. Most luxury bags and shoes are made of the skins of young calves, which are smoother and softer than those of older cows. Calf skin costs about 10-15% to of the animal's total value when it comes to slaughtering. It is important, but not enough to reduce the number of calves slaughtered if the luxurious houses are to be settled on the plants. Brands argue that leather is a sustainable choice, that skins produced by the meat and dairy industries can otherwise decompose in landfills, producing methane as much as it decomposes. As I am a vegan and animal lover, I get really horrified when I walk into a brand showroom and see many rows of bags and shoes made of leather of innocent animals and reptiles. Scrolling on the Instagram feed, I often see photos of women showing off their new Bottega Veneta leather shoes with videos of activists of a struggling calf shot in the head. Perhaps the fashion industry may be looking to emulate Volvo, which announced last month that it would remove the skin from its electric vehicles by 2030, citing negative impacts of cattle farming, including deforestation, and the desire to do what we can to help stop animal damage, items containing animal products. Cruelty-free fashion Caring is not the only player who has made fur-free promises, with another recent high-profile example being the Canadian Goose. The maker of the luxury brand said earlier this year he would no longer be using any fur in 2022, but had stopped removing feathers from their list of items. The first person to inspire the industry was Stella McCartney, who avoided the use of all animal products such as leather fur 
and put it at the forefront of global development, given other countries such as Israel now to ban wool production. As non-violent fashion is becoming more and more popular, experts believe that other non-animal models or materials to create the next gen will be the visual industry. One recent report estimates that the industry will be followed in the footsteps of the all-protein industry, becoming a $2.2 billion market by 2026. That's all for today's video. I hope that you found this video informative and interesting. If you did find it interesting, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to give comments and provide us with your valuable feedback. We'll see you in the next video with some more interesting, informative facts. And until then, stay tuned to Lux Fluent.